a full trilogy of the wasted talent of Tom Hardy. This is criminal. Hey there cinephiles, today I'm reviewing Venom The Last Dance. This is the direct continuation of Venom Let There Be Carnage and that one post credit scene from Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of this movie is already escaping me because it is quite forgettable and these films never really had anything else to offer me outside of Tom Hardy. The films in this trilogy are somehow extremely sauceless. They're never terrible, but they just aren't good either. These are the definition of empty calorie filmmaking. This is just something to have on as you're on a plane or you're folding laundry or you're just busy doing something else and you want background noise. It just feels like these films and especially this one is just going through the motions. There's a lack of care and attention to detail and actually wanting to tell a story. This felt like they shot the 0.5 draft version of the script. It feels like they just threw so many different things at the wall and even for the stuff that didn't stick to it, they still shot it and they still put it in the movie. There's so much going on in here and there's so much of it that doesn't land. It also feels like there's just not enough going on. I chuckled a few times, sure, most of that being the relationship between Eddie and Venom. And the only new thing that I liked of the absurd amount of new things that were introduced in this film was Martin. So much of this movie is just set up to very unsatisfying conclusions for these things that are quickly put together and then quickly dismantled. I mean, I do appreciate it being under two hours and it being so fast paced, but this is the end of a trilogy. This isn't supposed to feel like a middle chapter building to something that will never come. And for this being the quote unquote last dance, it finishes before anything really gets interesting. And even then, it still doesn't fully build on a lot of things that were kind of set up in the last two films, let alone what was set up in this one. And don't even get me started on the We Are Venom thing. <sighs> Again, as this is the end of a trilogy, this really went out with a whimper. Not that this franchise ever truly felt majestic in any way, but man, what a note to end it on, I guess. It was just a bunch of bad notes collected up in a trilogy. In the end, this was a trio of films with Tom Hardy trying to save a sinking ship that will inevitably fall and break apart more than the Titanic ever did. It's so frustrating because you're seeing someone truly give their all and actually do very well in displaying a very fun relationship between man and symbiote, and it's all stuck in this bland, colorless just blah messes of three different movies. And with this one in particular, it just felt like they didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to end it. And they're starting to show things in this film that might never ever get paid off since it wasn't done in this one. There are just so many things that are genuinely disappointing that I thought they could finally crack in this one. There are so many moments I just found myself wondering what is even going on here? It didn't feel like a real movie. And in fact, the beginning of the film film actually felt like it was a commercial from the way it's shot and the way it's edited and oh my god the editing in this it's oh i'm just not a fan and it just gets worse at certain parts and i i almost got a headache watching this but again the best part of this movie and the whole trilogy is the relationship between eddie and venom the connection between the two is just very fun to explore yet they always go away from it going to these more uninteresting characters that i could never care about and for some reason in this one i feel like we spend even more time with people that i just will never remember ever again. For all of the little pops and pockets of fun that are in this film, I don't think I could ever rewatch this outside of maybe a YouTube compilation of out of context stuff. But look, there is still some of these fun moments and if you like the other two movies, maybe you'll like this one. I was never really against those films. I never really hated them, but I never really was a champion of them either. I always had hope going into the Venom movies and I've always walked out of them just feeling the same deflated feeling that's just not what you want to feel from these movies. We give Venom The Last Dance a one and a half out of five stars. Look, I love Tom Hardy and I'm always going to support him and he does well in these films, but my goodness, just about everything else with this is just, it's not worth your time. But all right, those are my thoughts on Venom The Last Dance. Be sure to let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Be sure to stay tuned for more Yeti Films content and I'll watch you later.